The following question was coming from the topic of materials and energy. The question was as follows. The following diagram shows an experiment carried out by Elena to determine the density of an irregular solid, which is stone. Okay. So the question is uh, that on the screen you can see it. So make sure you start the diagram. You look at the reading of the the mass of the stone and also you look at the reading of the liquid once the stone is being immersed in water so question 4a is define density so density is mass per volume density is mass per volume okay so question number 3b1 which is determine the mass of the stone, determine the mass of the stone. So the mass of the stone is 50 grams. It is 50 grams. Okay. Question 4B2 is uh, determine the volume of the stone. So the volume of the stone will get it from the measuring cylinder here on the far right. The one I've circled there. So the volume of the cylinder, the volume of this liquid in the cylinder, that is 30, 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter. So we're going to write 30 centimeter. That is 30 centimeter cubic. Okay, we go to question number 4C, which is calculate the density of the stone. So to calculate the density of the stone on question 4C, we're going to write the formula for density, which is density is equal to mass over volume. So what is the mass? That is 15 uh, grams over 30 centimeter cubic. Then we cancel the zeros. Then we remain with 5 and 3. So we say th um, 3 into 5, it will go one time. Then remainder 2. Then we say can 3 go into 2? No. So we write, uh, we put 0 to 2. And then we put a decimal point here. Then we say, can the 3 go into 20? Yes. How many times? 6 times. So we put 6. Then remainder 2. Then we say, can 3 go into 2? No. We put 0. Then we write 6. Then we say, can 3 go into 2? We say no. Then we write, uh, we put 0 to 2. Then it is uh, 23 into 20 to give us 6. So now we have got 3, 6, and we can see that this pattern will continue like this. So we are, I'm going to write my answer with the two decimal presses. That means the 6 here, I'll round it off. Then it is going to be 1.67 grams per centimeter cubic as the correct answer. Okay, we go to question number 4D, which is explain why the stone sank to the bottom in the Eureka King. Okay, the reason why the stone sank is because the stone has higher density than water. The stone has higher density than water, that's why it is sank. Question 4E is suggest a correct precaution that should be considered during the experiment. So, the questions that should be considered, they just want one. I'll give you two since they want one. So the first one is uh, use thin string to the to tie the stone. So when you're tying the stone, you make sure that you, you use a thin string so that it does not affect the reading of uh, water. Because if you use a thick string, that means it will affect the reading of the water. Um, two lower the stone gently so when you are when you are putting the stone in the Eureka cane you make sure you lower it slowly and gently so that it does not like if you put uh, a blunt tree the stone in the water that means it will cause waves and water will, will come out the one that is not supposed to come out so you lower it gently okay so since they want one i'll give you two so those are the uh, precautions that you should take when you're calling this experiment.